In 2021, there will be at least 141 women in Congress, at least 36 of them Republican. That's a record-breaking number for the GOP, but the party still has a long way to go. Of the 262 Republicans in Congress next year, 36 women is barely 14 percent. NBC News correspondent Leanne Caldwell reports on this historic year for Republican women. This was the year for the GOP women with dozens of Republican women breaking boundaries. I want to keep government off our backs and protect our constitutional rights. Including Nancy Mace. I was also the first woman to graduate from the Citadel, the Military College of South Carolina. Mace, now the first Republican woman elected to Congress from South Carolina. Single mom, one-time high school dropout, former Waffle House waitress. The, the rules are different. So it's not just what you say, it's how you say it. It's not just what you wear, it's how you wear it. To the people Senator Susan Spain, Collins defying all odds, you. the first Republican woman to win a fifth Senate term. When I was chairing the Homeland Security Committee, I remember looking at the panel, looking to my left and my right, and all of a sudden realizing that I was the only woman. In the new Congress, at least 141 women will serve. A record-breaking 36 of them will be Republican. And of those 36, half of them will be freshmen serving their first term. The Democrats gained more than 30 seats in the House. They won seven governorships. After a dismal showing in 2018, the Republican Party put a focus on electing women to Congress. I won't back down from harmful socialist ideas like the Green New Deal. Newly elected, Cynthia Lummis is Wyoming's first female senator. Because Democrats went out of their way to recruit and place women. Uh, and uh, the Republicans didn't do that as early. What changed this year from hardly any to a record number? Well, I think we put in a huge amount of effort and time into making sure that uh, we were reaching out, encouraging women in all of these districts to, to put their name on the ballot, to run. Because of President Trump, the Republican Party has struggled with suburban women. But Maria Elvira Salazar, a former TV journalist, newly elected to Congress, helped Trump overperform with Hispanics in South Florida. I am telling my party that women and minorities are the new face of America. NBC News correspondent Leanne Caldwell joining me now. Uh, Leanne, let's talk about this. Why did Republican women, uh, why did these candidates have such a good year? Well, Allison, for so long, Republicans refused to recruit women, focus on women, specifically because they are women. They had the philosophy that the best candidate mattered. It didn't matter if you were a woman, if you were white, if you were black or not. But after an abysmal 2018, where only 13 women served in Congress, another nine in the Senate for Republicans, a group of Republican women said enough is enough. They got a lot of pushback from their male counterparts but they didn't care. They decided to recruit, train, fund, and mentor women to ensure that they won their elections in 2020. Now, advocates are saying, yes, it was a good year, but they also warn that if the Republican Party doesn't continue to do this, then this year could just be an outlier. Allison. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.